welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. On today's video, we will be exploring everything we know about the cancelled sci-fi Waterworld television show. As fans of Waterworld and this YouTube channel know, Waterworld since the film's release has expanded beyond the silver screen and added further lore to the universe through the comic books, the video games, the novelization, the live stunt show, and the multiple versions of the film. However, at the end of November in 2012, news broke that something much bigger may be coming down the production pipeline. Sci-Fi rebranded Sci-Fi in 2009 is the famous cable television network that features exclusively science fiction shows and films and that is owned by the National Broadcasting System, or NBC. In 2004, under the parentship of General Electric, NBC merged with Vivendi Universal Entertainment, a French mass media conglomerate and water utility company whose headquarters are in Paris. Vivendi had acquired Universal Studios four years prior from Seagram, the Canadian drink distributor, and rather than go deeper into the history of corporate merging and takeover of NBC and Universal Studios, this is all to say that in 2004, NBC Universal was formed, allowing for television channels like Sci-Fi to access Universal Pictures' vast trove of intellectual property. By the year 2012, Sci-Fi was looking to develop some new shows and even expand into some new media markets, with shows like Defiance which had an accompanying MMO video game which eventually had a more lasting legacy than the show itself. Sci-Fi was also looking for a way into the movie business ever since the 2004 merger with Universal Studios. However, the Sci-Fi channel would be approaching the movie industry from a non-theatrical angle, instead creating low-budget, made-for-TV films. Jeff Berkovich, a technology reporter with an emphasis on social and digital media for Forbes, the American business magazine, in November of 2012 broke the amazing news that Sci-Fi was looking into some newly acquired and untapped universal properties to transform into television programming and beyond, and that the IP of Waterworld was first on the list of projects to be created. According to Dave Howe, the president of Sci-Fi Network, Universal Studios was not initially interested in exploring the idea of creating low-budget science fiction, but in 2009 the studio came under new management and Sci-Fi Films became a reality, with both companies putting money into a joint development fund. And despite Waterworld being a very large budget film which flies in the face of Sci-Fi's low budget model, it was observed that when Sci-Fi Channel aired the film Waterworld, an incredible viewership was garnered, typically with over 400,000 viewers. The Forbes article ends with Dave Howe claiming that a theatrical sequel to Waterworld was never really in the cards but that a series based on the film had been talked about endlessly. After Forbes broke the story, many other film and television blogs scooped up the story as well. ScreenRant.com further expanded on Sci-Fi's logical decision to transform Waterworld into a television series, citing how Sci-Fi had taken Stargate, another 90s film with a moderate theatrical success, and created multiple successful television shows and direct-to-video movies. But unfortunately, after the initial report of Sci-Fi developing a Waterworld series, nothing else has been said on the matter, and as of now it seems the whole project has quietly died. And while I don't think that Kevin Costner would ever come back to reprise his role as the Mariner, as he has been opposed to doing sequels throughout his entire career, he did in fact mention in a 2015 interview that he did not believe that Waterworld should be remade. I don't think they have to redo it. I think they could just release it the way it is. If, you, if that was interesting, I, there'd be no reason to redo it. Which makes sense. I personally wouldn't like to see a remake either, but apart from that, I feel there's so much more that could be explored in the universe through other media. Answering questions like how did the world become flooded, how did the mutant creatures evolve or come into existence, and what do the other factions of society look like in the universe of Waterworld? 
And now, with fans like myself in the Waterworld Lore podcast looking to build a community of fans and Universal Studios continuing to run and even expand the live stunt show to new parks, heck, even the incredible Arrow Blu-ray release we got last year, all indicate that this IP is ready to be expanded upon. So let me know what you think. Would you have liked to have seen a Waterworld TV show on the Sci-Fi Channel, or do you feel it would have tarnished the original film's reputation even more, given the quality of Sci-Fi Channel films and that Asylum Films did a low-budget Waterworld-esque film with Planet of the Sharks to not great praise? And more generally, what do you think a Waterworld sequel or TV series would have looked like? What stories could have been told? Well, with that, I will conclude this video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Looking at recent channel data, it appears that many of my views come from non-subscribers, so please be aware that subscribing is a fantastic and free way to show your support and help grow the channel. But thanks, as always, for joining me at The Atoll.